When I'm training for Strongman, I'll normally pick one or two events that I want to work on that day. And so I'll do a couple warm-ups that will help me prepare that. So if I know I'm going to do Atlas Stones or I know I'm going to do Farmer's Walks, I know I'm going to want to warm up my lower body and my arms pretty well. I work as a trainer, so I plan times where I don't take clients. That way I make sure that I get my workouts in. I love how I feel after the workouts and especially working with heavier weights. I like how my body looks after and that really helps me mentally you know, if I need to work through things or I'm frustrated you know, I can take it out on my workout and I don't take it out on other people. I've been training for a while but I didn't really get seriously into it. About six years ago I did my first powerlifting meet. I was challenged and I always accept challenges. I've had some uh, things happen in my life. I ripped my right distal bicep all the way up to the shoulder. And after I did that, I did the first Strongest Warrior competition. I said, if it's not gone, I need to try. So I believe if you can, you do. So one of the biggest reasons that I think keeps me going and motivation is I see other people see that I can do it and it gets them to do it or at least opens that possibility for them to be able to do it. A lot of times people associate uh, strong men and strong women with heavier men and heavier women. They don't think that a, a person like me can pull a truck because I don't look like it right off the bat. For me, it's very empowering as a woman, you know, going against that stereotype. So that's kind of my mission is to get more women comfortable lifting heavier weights, to see how they react with it, how much more confidence they get when they're physically stronger. Some of the mantras that I hear is, no pain, no gain. I believe that, but I had one day where I walked in from working out, I've been working out a long time, and I saw a guy without a leg. My motivation is the wounded warriors. I think about how much they've accepted in their life and how they keep persevering. So I have to be mentally tough. That's what I teach. That's what I try to tell people. Mental toughness is my most important piece.